Hello, hello, hello. It is um, at quarter past eight on Monday the 24th of August and it is time for today in my boo journal. First off, I am today for some reason, well this afternoon really, it started this afternoon, having one of the biggest vertigo attacks I've ever had in my life. So I'm not going to be looking up and down and up and down and up and down a lot, just so you know. I'm also really hoping that I can stomach sit in here and editing this afterwards. So if the editing's really rough and I haven't like high collapsed all the colouring and shit, that would be why. It's just simply I just wanted to get it done and up. But I, I feel like I've basically drunk about four bottles of vodka. I feel really, really dizzy. It's not a pleasant feeling at all. I feel quite ill. I think I know why. Um, I went out for lunch with my mother. I had fish. Sometimes I can eat fish and I'm fine. Other times it makes me feel quite poorly. Anyway, let's get on. Go to bed, Daryl. No, because I'm doing a video. There's nobody here to say hi to. Go on, bed. Okay, so that was the 23rd done. And then the 24th, yes we are. Oh dear. That, that, that. Oh. Excuse me, I'm also really, really tired, so I'm probably going to do this and then go to bed. Not my doing steps, I knew that. My new shoes turned up today, my Merrells. Uh, I'll try and remember to put a picture here. It's on my Instagram if 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 I forget. But um yeah, put them on and it's it's like um I bought a man's size eight UK size eight. Now I'm sure my last pair were women's size eight, but they were you know pre-loved. I bought a second hand pair. Um they're a bit tighter than I was expecting, but I think that's just, you know, I need to sort of slacken the laces a little bit. But wow, they give me such lovely support in the arch of, arches of my feet. Um, and I can feel like where they're supporting the plantar and it's made it feel so much better. I'm actually wondering whether I need to go and get my feet checked because I'm wondering if the arch is okay in my left foot because um, it's, it's, it feels so different. I can't, I can't explain it. I'm just, I'm just wondering whether it, that is something that's happened. Okay, that's that. Yeah, the, um, the medication she's good for me. It's helping with the pain a little bit, but it's done absolute bug all to my actual foot. Uh, I didn't do any more than that yesterday. Oh, um, okay, yeah, we did all that, didn't we? Right, so I'm going to change the pen really slowly today. face cream yeah it's not the fault of the restaurant I am um, it was weird it was about 15 years ago um, I've not had makeup I have had caffeine no it wasn't it was during my pregnancies the one thing I always went off was fish during each of my pregnancies my mum used to cook fish chips and peas every Friday it's kind of a staple here in the UK and um, I've done that wrong. Oh, I'm just gonna draw a little arrow. I've had caffeine, I haven't had booze. I've had chips. I haven't crafted. We haven't done homework. I haven't brushed the dog. The garden doesn't need doing because it's rained. Yeah, um, and with each pregnancy, because I had my, my eldest four like quite close together, I had all four children in like four and a half years, I would go off fish earlier and earlier and earlier throughout the pregnancies <laughs> I knew I was pregnant with Alex because that was one of my first hints was because uh, I had I fell with Alex when Callie was only three months old um yeah and that was one of my first symptoms was that I'd gone off fish 
and knew I was pregnant. Um, and since then, my relationship with fish has been kind of sketchy, you know? And sometimes it made me quite ill, and other times I would have an actual physical reaction, like um, I had a, a rash appear on my face once after eating scampi. Um, scampi is about the only fish that I do eat semi-regularly. Um, but today I had beer battered cod, and I don't know whether it was the beer and the cod, or whether it was the cod itself, because I can't remember the last time I had cod. But I feel very, very, very queer. Very weird. I actually looked up earlier, how much beer do you put in beer batter? And it's only something like 75 mils, and I was like, well that wouldn't be enough to make me feel like this. But I do, I feel bleh, you know? Right, I need to do an in progress Instagram. It's like even looking at my phone makes me feel a bit bleh. Really. Scrolling Facebook's a fucking nightmare at the moment. And I'm one of those people that like, oh, I'm I'm bored with what is on the screen when you know when I'm watching YouTube videos. Um I'm bored with what's on the screen. I'll just scroll Facebook for a few seconds. And, um, yeah, what am I doing? In progress Instagram. That's that one. And it's a nightmare because I, you know, I can't step and look at my phone at the same time. And Okay, done. I'm, um, I've got some, some new ideas for next month as well. Um, the square track is probably going to disappear because um, there's too many things that I want to track with um, like the, the things like the homework. I've got it just down as one thing at the moment, but I want to write what we did, whether we did all three things, reading, writing, and some maths, or whether we just did one, so that I know how often we're doing it. So I can't, can't remember last time we did any counting. Um, I also want to put things in order just so that I can refer back to it. But I also want to change out some of these later trackers, you know, I'm getting a bit bored of it. I'm thinking I might, you know, I could make this a square tracker. You know, I'm also wondering about changing this, but I don't, I don't know how to change it. I don't know how else to do it. I mean, the earliest I went to sleep on this is 11. I rarely go earlier than that. And the latest I get up is 10. So that's 12 that I need to be able to fill in. So if you've got ideas of what I can do differently for a sleep tracker, that would be cool. I'd like to like to hear that. But that might end up being a square tracker next month. Or even a circular tracker. Chores will stay the same because that's just, you know. But yeah, so that might end up being somewhere else. This is helpful, but I don't know whether I don't know whether to change it and if so how to change it. Um, right, I did pull a card. Again, I used my everyday enchantment. My hand itches like a shit. It, it, it is itching like fucking ugh, the world's itchiest thing. I don't have a stiff neck, it just enables me to see everything that's on my desk if I keep my head at a slight angle. Now, I pulled Strength. Some decks swap Strength and one of the other cards, which is a pen in the bum. Swap the numbers, you know? Yeah, see this one, it's got the Hermit as number 9, which must mean that Strength is number 8. Yeah, some decks actually swap them. Did you know that? Those of you that are interested in tarot? So that was number 8. Okay. Uh, well, this card is pretty much what it says it is. You're stronger than you know. You've overcome so many hurdles to get where you are today. Um, you don't. Sometimes you don't feel it. You know. Sometimes you rage at uh, your circumstances. You know, like for example, this young lady here. She's she's a chair user. Um, but look, she's learnt to breathe fire. How fantastic is that? Um, strength does fall under the fire element. And she's got this amazing doggy. Look at the doggy. You know? She's sitting on a bed of rocks. She got her there. There's nobody else there. She got herself there. That's 
you know, if you've ever, ever, ever tried to push a wheelchair or use a wheelchair manually, it's hard fucking work. It really is. Um, but she's done that. Look at what she's done. Now, the majority of my friends, the people that, that, that watch my channel, and I love you all, are, are I don't want to say disabled, but, you know, we've all got something wrong with us. Whether it's um, anxiety, depression, um, a mental health type issue, or whether it's a physical issue, you know, I, 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 I know one person off the top of my head is a chair user. Um, a lot of us suffer from anxiety and depression. I have chronic pain, um, you know, so on and so forth. And I remember saying to my mum many, many years ago, I'm terrified I'll be in a wheelchair by the time I'm 45. I was, I, I was absolutely petrified, but hey, you know, I'm 45 and I'm the captain of a Fitbit team, you know, I've got a fantastic little boy, I never thought I'd have another child, um, who sometimes makes it worth getting up in the morning, you know, um, I pissed Callie off because I told a counsellor that she was with me and, um, I, I, I said about the fact that, you know, losing Stuart and that had really plummeted me right down. And they said, you know, have you got any younger children? I said, yes, I've got a little boy. And I said, and he's the reason I get up. And she, so Callie sort of moved and I said, I know that's probably upset you. I said, but you're an adult. You don't need me. You know, whereas... Hang on a second. Daryl! 8.30! It's 8.30. Okay then, couple more minutes. Um, and I said to her, you don't, you, you don't need me. He needs me. And at the, at then, that was what I needed to get me up every day. Look how far I've come since then. I'm a lot better than I was. That was only a year ago. You know, I've come a long way in a year. It was understandable where I was a year ago, you know, have, having lost Stuart. Um, because you, you deal with so much when you lose your partner. You know, you not only deal with the sorrow, but you deal with the guilt that not just you're alive and they're not, but you are, it's, it's, it almost pushes you back there because you feel guilty that you're, you're, you're living and that you're going on, you know. Um, I've now got things to live for, yeah. Um, there have been a few things that have happened within my family, especially in the last couple of months, or even last last couple of weeks, that I've got things to look forward to, which is fantastic. That's an achievement. That's an achievement against my mental health, my emotional health, my physical health from where I was even 10 years ago. I was using a walking frame 10 years ago before I, had, before I fell pregnant with Daryl. I was using a frame. I sometimes still use my stick, not very often. I use hiking poles if I go long distance. But yeah, I'm able to move about more often than not without my stick. So I'm still in pain all day, every day. But that's a little achievement for me. So focus on those achievements. If you feel, well, no, you know, I'm in the darkest ever place. Did you get up this morning? Great. Did you manage to get dressed? That's fantastic. Did you eat today? Well done. Those are all achievements. As crap as that may sound, and I am not being condescending, I am being totally honest because I've been there. I know what it's like when you don't want to get up in the morning. You know, did you manage to wash your face? That is, that's an achievement, that's brilliant. Tick it, tick it off the list. These are the things, write down everything that you've done from the moment you opened your eyes. You got up, great. You made coffee, that's good. Have you washed your face? Fantastic. Did you brush your teeth? That's good as well. Don't write the negatives, oh, I didn't manage to do that. Write down the positives and go, well, actually, do you know what? Look at all these things that I've managed today. That's what this card is telling you. Focus on the strengths and they will get you through. So I've put focus on your strengths. You may discover that you have more than you thought. I suppose I could change the mood and the pain tracker as well. This is something a bit different, you know. Oops, that's a bit messy. 
Okay, um... I'm not in pain as such, just... Weird. 12.45 until half past nine. And I slept most of the night. I might got up and down a few times, but... I haven't done any housework. I know I haven't. Um, I did the loo. The laundry didn't need doing, so I can tick that off. Because I got up and I went down the road and cleaned down the road today. Um, so yeah, that's all I've done. <laughs> I need to clean my oven. Let's see, where are we? Okay. I've watched SummerSlam this afternoon. That was brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Went out for lunch with my mother and my camcorder payment came out. A bit bummed really because I bought this camcorder and I barely used it because we've been in lockdown. Right. There we go. I've got nothing on tomorrow. But I got my new shoes today. And I'm hoping that this so I'm, I'm in a relaxed bit at the moment so I can move. I'm hoping that this vertigo would have gone by tomorrow and if it has I'm going to go out for a walk if it hasn't I'm going to walk to the pharmacy which is just down the road and see if they can give me something because I haven't got any of my vertigo medication because I don't take it when I'm not in you know having lots of attacks so right I am gonna however stick a few things in here because I have my receipt from dinner I also have the menus. Alex was kind enough to get me the menus. So I have the full menu, the lunch menu, and the desserts menu. And I can absolutely 100% tell you that the chef's panna cotta was very uh, fucking lush. I have that. And then I have this little tag that was on my shoesies. And I'm going to stick this invoice doohickey because it sh this is on that peely paper, sticker paper, and it's um, perforated. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it, I can easily, you know, tear this off. And then I'm going to add that in as well really bummed that they went like all the way across I might have to tear it might tear the whole thing and not perforate it there so I think what I might do is make a tuck spot for these fold them and make a tuck spot because I don't know how else to put them in you know um, let's have a look where are we So I think I'm going to start here. Um, did I do any photos today? Oh yeah, I did a photo. I'm going to print a photo of my shoes. I was hoping that this was going to be an empty page so that I could have gone all the way across like that. I suppose I could do it on the next page, couldn't I? Even if I do it like that, I don't think it's going to go all the way. Ooh, I'm going to have to cut the end off. So if I make a big tuck pocket for these and talk about lunch on this side. Um, right, what have I got? It's flashing red. Okay, so that's empty, so I need to fill that up. Right, um... Yeah. I'm looking in citrus twist kits because I've got all these kits and I haven't fucking used them. I think I might cancel it. That was a day and night.
Which, I mean, the last few kits I've received, I haven't even looked at. I haven't even opened them, you know. Yeah, this one's all about food. See, there's stamps in here that I haven't even looked at. This is cravings. Food is culture. I want this now. Get in my belly. Hmm. That sounds like it might be the one that I want. Yeah. Let's have a look at this one. That one is. Sorry about the loud banging. That's the true story one. I don't think that's the one that I need. I think it's going to be this kit. Food for the body is not enough. There must be food for the soul by Dorothy Day. That one. The others are like really kind of trippy and making me feel quite ill. So let's put all of these back in the packet if I can. So literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this like that to then tuck those menus into. Might even go from there and do it that way. It's not quite A5 size, these, which is a bit of a bummer. Or would I be better off going that way? It also depends on how I'm going to put these in. What I'm thinking is tri folding them like so. They will stick out a little bit, but that's fine. Look at that way. Right, I want to make sure that, because they've got this cool thing where they've got like, you write your table number and all that on the front. So this is like their lockdown menu and what you do is you fill it in. When they bring it to you, you, fill in on the front your name, your address, your, your contact details, what table you sat at, and then you go through the menu and you tick what you want. It's quite, it's quite good, really. Um, and then they take it away and they put it all into the till for you. So, as my son says, it saves the chef trying to read his abysmal handwriting. <laughs> if I do it that that way then it could just tuck in, tuck in there, couldn't it? I quite like that idea. So if I get it there, this is quite nerve wracking. So I hate when it tears like that. Also going to cut down there because um, it overhangs the page. But I'm going to ink that up. I just thought that would match the um, the background quite well, and it does. Yeah, that'll do. I'll put a little bit of glue there, and a little bit of glue along the bottom, and then I can trim it. Unfortunately, I've used a little bit too much glue. It's oozing. The fact it oozes. <laughs> okay. Fab glue. Cheap and cheerful from the pound shop. Okay, so. Oh my god. This journal's just. It's too, too big to work in. It's silly. Oh, 
How much I didn't like that kind of glue. Oh well. Probably shouldn't have glued that bit there. But I quite like that I did actually. Okay, so I have got somewhere. I fucking hate when it does that and it doesn't stamp properly. I am so shit with stamps. See, it just doesn't do that middle bit. Possibly because I'm at the end of the um, thing. But I tell you what, in my next journal, everything is going to go through my stamping press. Because it just... It just annoys me when things go wrong. And it's really, really hard to double stamp and get it right. So yeah, in my... Um, in my next journal because everything won't be bound in I'll be able to um, use my stamping press and I am going to use my fucking stamping press so that this kind of bullshit doesn't happen so yes it will all go in the um, in the stamping press and then I can multiple <laughs> stamp do multiple stamps on a thing if I need to okay Oh, I moved a bit too quick. Oh, I suppose what I could do is I like, glue that in the Oh, yeah, I like that idea. I'm going to glue that behind the menu so I can see what I had. I like that idea. Well, that's not very straight, is it? You know what? I don't care. I don't care that it's not straight. It's not dreadful. <laughs> yes, it is. It's dreadful. Oh, well, fuck it. It's stuck down now. So then that can go like that. And then I can just tuck that in like so. Well, the other way so you can see the the design of the pub. I'm not going to put that in yet because obviously I want to write. So I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling here. Ah, oh, Jolyn, love. Look, the inside of the pen broke. I was so gutted. It, I, I'd stuck it on the back of the pen and I pulled it off and it was stuck on there and I was like, ah, it's broken. My has a sad because my pen is broke. So you can contact Simply Gilded and say that that's a shit pen. It's lovely to write with, but it's a pants pen. <laughs> oh dear. The writing got progressively worse as I went over the because it on the back is like this business card and other bits and pops and it just made it impossible to write on. Okay, so we'll leave that like that and then we'll pop over to this page and I want to put my label, if it would tear, I suppose I would, it would make more sense to cut it wouldn't it? along the perforated line. Actually, can I, I don't think this bit is sticky label. No, this bit is just plain old bummer. It's just that bottom bit that's sticky label. I thought this was going to fucking sticky label. Well, I can still stick it in, can't I? I just have to do it with glue instead. So if I fold it in half, then I can tuck it in there. And go across like that with it. I don't need to get right to the end because I know that I'm gonna um, it's gonna overfill overfill overspill the page so I'm probably gonna trim it. Ah oh, man there's glue on my fucking page. Let me fold it in half and Tuck it in kind of where you want it to go, really, and then smooth it down like so. And the 
because I've got glue on there, I might just stick that on there. I'm going to stick that there, that's my shoes, and I'll stick the label over that globbly bit, like so. Yeah. This is the same both sides, so it doesn't matter. Look at the sticks, it's a bit shiny, so I don't know whether it all comes off, I'll use tape. And then I can just do a little bit more journaling down here about my shoes and anything else that I want to do. I can tuck that in there, like so. Yeah, quite pleased with that. I'll leave that up for now while I'm journaling about today. But then yeah, that'll tuck in there quite nicely. And then I can just continue on to the next day over here. Um, you know it doesn't have to be a page every day you know I know I know that's what I normally do but um, you know it doesn't have to be so there have been a couple of times where I've done like you know two put two um, two days or half a day it's not the first time like that one I went a little bit over there but that's fine you know too like that printable do some more. Something else I need to do more of is printables. That's what I really want to get into with the junk journal is adding in printables, sticking in stuff like this. The thing is, I don't, it's mad, but I don't have a lot of stuff that I, you know I can stick in, and I don't see the point of sticking in um, stuff that's not relevant. It just, you know, it just seems a bit weird. I don't mind sticking in like a chocolate wrapper or whatever, and I've got loads of those actually hanging about. Um, yeah, like I've, I've been waiting to stick this in somewhere or other. Um, but I don't see the point of sticking in stuff that doesn't actually have anything to do with anything. It's, it's hard enough adding in these little stickers, on, you know, that don't sort of seem to mean anything. You know, these little cartoony things. I'm finding it really hard to do these at the moment. It just, it's just, I don't know why. It just, it just is. It's just hard. It's like, really, I could put stickers there because I've got loads of space. I've had some new stickers come. Okay, let's do, st let's do some stickers, shall we? Um, I don't remember what drawer they're in. Shall we do some nice sort of summery style stickers? I've got puffy stickers. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do. These are so flimsy, these they just don't stay. <laughs> that would be ideal for the food side though. <laughs> Cat with a ruddy great fish. What are these cute little kawaii stickers? from Aliexpress and I got them and I was so pleased because they were so so adorable and then I found out that there was only like several um, a few fewer designs than I thought because there's several copies of the same design which annoyed me a little bit because they didn't tell you that yeah I mean they, I've got like little bunnies and little pussycats and they are adorable but they don't tell you that like I say, there's multiple copies of the same design. They're also glossy, so there's not really any point in inking them because the ink doesn't stay. I'm going to, though, just in case. Quite appropriate, actually, as we went to a seafood restaurant for lunch. There you go. <laughs> so let's stick that there. And then my little He's a bit creased. I may dispose of him. I wonder if I can peel him off and just use the sticker rather than the puffy bit. I'm gonna get rid of him. He was cheap so it doesn't matter. Oh there's a couple of different designs. That's 
cool, I didn't know that. So we've got a couple of puffy butterflies. Pussycat. A couple of bunnies. little running bunny that I want to use. So that's definitely going to go there with my shoes because you know running bunny and shoes. There we go all decorated and on. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I must say, I find that the, the it's like I love watching um, Lovely Lynn's life. I love her journal, but she just chucks these stickers down randomly, like days ahead, and I'm like, but what if you get there and it's a totally different day than what you imagined? Does that not bother you? <laughs> and she's just like, no, no, no just stick stickers down. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm trying. See, that one fits because it's to do with food, seafood. And that one fits because it was a burger. <laughs> so, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Maybe that's the trick. Maybe I need to pre decorate, chuck a shitload of stickers down, and then just work around it. I don't know. Right, I'm going to leave it there because I'm starting to feel a bit ugh and I've been at this for over an hour. Look, I don't think I'd manage that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, it shows that people are active on my channel if you do that. Um, any comments, questions, suggestions, feedback, leave them down below. Each one gets a like, a love, or a written response. Um, and I enjoy interacting with you. I really do. Click the book in the corner and you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that then appears down below, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Brew Journal. Take these guys, bye.